Hello, my name is Sascha Silber. I'm a BitNation ambassador from Berlin and today I'm going to tell you why voluntary interactions are so important for a free society. We, the people, are different. We have not only different tastes, morals, preferences, lifestyles, but we also look and think different. We all act in various ways and have our own very personal goals. Every time we do something, we act. We also live in a world which turns out to offer us limited resources. Not only material, natural resources are limited, but also the time itself, the time which we have to live our lives. For we are not immortal and cannot do everything at the same moment of time, we have to make choices. Every time we decide to do something, we prefer one thing to another. We have to choose between ordering a pizza or going to a cinema, going to a park or staying at home, buying a new iPhone or using the old Samsung. Every time we have to decide, we have to choose because we cannot do both at the same time. We decide in favor of something which seems us profitable and against something which does not. So here you have it. Whether something is profitable or not is a question of a subjective value, because values can only be subjective. When we speak about people interacting with each other, every person decides what to give and what to get. It's an exchange of goods, regardless of the fact that natural resources are limited. The goods which can be produced from them can be almost infinite. There are two kinds of human interactions, voluntary and forced ones. A voluntary interaction creates a win-win situation when everybody participating on this interaction gets profit from it. It could be a voluntary exchange when I give you my pizza because you want to give me your shoe, you can give it up for my pizza. In both cases we win. But if you don't want to give me a shoe and I take it from you without your consent, then it's a forced interaction. We call it a theft. The most terrible kind of interaction is war. A war takes place when we steal from each other, when we destroy things which belong to us, or even kill ourselves. In this case, it's a lose-lose situation. A war is never profitable for anybody participating in it. A series of voluntary interactions is called a free market. On a free market, everybody is exchanging goods voluntarily and freely. Exchanges are caused by different resources and different goals each of us has, and they are never objectively equal because otherwise people would not exchange at all. Here in Europe we live in a relatively free but also very regulated market. Price regulations, production limitations, licenses are plaguing the self-organizing and natural economical order. But in developing countries of Asia, South America, Africa, where Governments have caused a total economic collapse with unlimited regulation, expropriation and hyperinflation, crime and poverty prosper. When people cannot exchange goods freely and voluntarily, everybody ends up in a lose-lose situation. As for law and justice, the state alone controls the production of security. There is no competition. The army, the police, the justice itself, they all belong to the government. It's all monopolized. There is no free jurisdiction market as well, so people cannot choose which law has to be applied on them. As the economical theory successfully proved, the monopoly is only profitable for the monopolist and it results always in rising prices and sinking quality. The jurisdiction system offered by the government is a monopoly, it's a forced interaction. Since governments are bound to a certain territory, there is no way to not to be associated with the jurisdiction 
which does not match your ideology, your lifestyle, your taste, your preference, your religion. Such a system creates a huge space for potential conflicts by forcing people into one big box. We at Bit Nation call it a one-size-fits-all concept in this case. As long as people are different by their nature, there will be no peace if we try to apply one law and one moral on all. We at Bit Nation reject this dirty political Games of Thrones. Instead, we offer you a free jurisdiction market. Since jurisdictions and voluntary nations, as we call them, created on BitNation's platform Pangea compete with each other, the better ones will get only better by offering a better product, a better service, and the worst ones will be pushed from the market, accordingly to the natural economical law. Through the free jurisdiction market, the justice will be no more monopolized and there will be fewer conflicts. As long as we fight for power and not against it, we, peaceful people, will not win. Since the freedom of association is also freedom of not being associated with anybody you don't want to, governments have taken it away. BitNation gives this freedom back to you.